Okay, so dienes implies that there's two alkene groups, and there's two different ways that we can classify dienes. There's conjugated and then there's isolated. So an example of a conjugated diene is something that looks like this, whereas an isolated diene is something that looks kind of like this. And I'll explain the differences between each of these. Uh, so for conjugated dienes, there's some notes that you may want to make is that all carbon atoms, I'm just going to say that for carbon, are sp2 hybridized. So uh, you can count those if you want, but I'm not going to. So if they're all sp2 hybridized, a conclusion, or at least something that we can infer about it, is that we have a really effective overlap of p orbital whoa of p orbitals across the entire molecule and it's going to I'll explain this in a sec it's kind of hard to write and talk at the same time it's going to delocalize the electron density which is pretty nice. Um, so because of that, because we have both sp2 and overlapping of d, or delocalization from overlapping of p orbitals, these can, generally speaking, we can say that they are more stable than their isolated counterparts. Yeah, if you were to look at this, this is not uh, conjugated because this carbon right here has two hydrogens attached to it. This is sp3 hybridized, whereas every single carbon in this molecule is sp2 hybridized. So just some notes that we may want to also make, though. Um, and I'm just going to make some, uh, say, properties that they have that are pretty cool, or properties about them, or structures that you could say about them besides the fact that they're more stable, is that they uh, will absorb UV, that does not look like a U, ultraviolet light, longer wavelengths than their isolated friends there. Another thing that we could say about them is that uh, because of resonance, so this isn't really important, but because of resonance, the sigma bond of a conjugated diene is tends to be short or shorter than the sigma bonds of isolated dienes and that's really it as far as that goes isolated dienes we're not going to talk about but for conjugated dienes they have some pretty unique reactions that you can do with them